Hey guys, it's Nightcase, and today's video is a sketchbook flip through with my husband. Hi. <laughs> so, this is sketchbook 16. As you can see, took under a year at least this time. This was the June Copic illustration. Grapes. Yep. Is that supposed to be. Dionysus, maybe? No, and, just yeah. just one of my dragon ladies. Yeah, like a little Greek, maybe? Yeah, definitely inspired by that. I like your Katsune character. Yep. So, he has a very splotch nose there. Yeah, I was trying to get the right color. And this is a video I did for the channel, was drawing with all my blue art supplies. Yep. And this was a first attempt at a example of traditional commissions. I like the cat thigh highs. <laughs> but you like this one better. Yeah, I like that character better. Yeah, it turned out good. So it was to show a sketch ink and Copic color illustration for a graphic on my website. And this is a sketch example. Oh, no. <laughs> and this is my first attempt at an ink example for a convention, but yeah. I ended up scrapping it. Didn't turn out very good. Yeah. And since they are samples for commissions, I want to make them look good. This was the final one. And then this was random sketches at that convention. And I was trying to design, like, a male Oni character. He looks a little... I don't know. Maybe not wall-eyed, but a little bit dumb-looking. He's supposed to be based on, like, the actual Oni masks. Yeah. And this was a commission for somebody's cobalt character. It's kind of cute. Really things. And then random pen doodles. This is when I was messing a lot with ink washes and stuff. And that was another commission. And this was a sketch preparation for a print for the Patreon month that that was for. It's our local cafe. Yeah. And those were emote sketches for the exalt or not exalted. <laughs> Unexpectables Discord. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I thought exalted. <laughs> and then random sketch page. I did one for my friend as well. I like the Yeah. Her character. Yeah. And this was a sketch for a commission. And that was also a sketch, but I turned up using that one. And this was a commission sketch page as well. And just some random doodles. I was working on a draw this again thing and ended up changing it after I had already finished the other one to something else. So, And this was the one that I did the video with. Where I took an old picture that I had drawn and redrew it. It's like from high school. And then this was for my Inktober uh, zine, but it was the fill the space. Pet the kitty. But it was filled the last, like, half page or whatever. And then that was the zine's cover. And then on this page was the information that I did on the back, because I wanted everything to be hand-drawn instead of, like, digitally done. Even though I found out now that apparently you're not supposed to do that with logos. Oh. I don't know. Some copyright thing has come about recently. Yeah, you're, you're not, not supposed, supposed to, to draw your... A, a yeah. registered trademark. Yeah, even if you're using it to represent that. And then I drew Kika. And I had... This was the original painting I did for my Christmas painting video, but I scrapped it for another one. And then a lot of these are just going to be random sketches. I started doing a lot more pen sketching later on in the year. I like the snowflake guy. Yeah, I want to mess with his character a little bit more. But I really started liking not being able to erase <laughs> for some reason. This is when I was trying to figure out the print for Figaro. the Patreon. I like her face in that one. 
I liked the idea of this one. I ended up not doing this print at all, actually. So. Is she sitting on a peach? Uh, she's sitting on what I was going to make the symbol, the Chinese symbol for pig. You should have had her sitting on a Chinese, one of the dumplings. With the oh, that would have been cute. Pork bun dumpling yeah. or whatever they call them. And this was the start of the new year. So I started drawing. I had gotten some new markers or pens there. Yeah, it's good to test stuff, I guess. I you love the, the butthole. <laughs> Perrin, uh, he has that though. Like, that's the <laughs> that's thing. I so see. I just randomly wanted to draw some Sanrio characters, and I was still messing around with the pig idea that I had with one of my dragon girls this time. Just trying to mess around with more of my brush pen there as well. Yeah, what was the last year? Uh, last year was dog. So and pig you should have had a dog girl giving the pig the new year or something. That would have been cute. And then I did these actually as a video as well, showing how I warm up. For I the like day. the dragon, even though I don't like the Chinese dragon looking things. Yeah, well, that's my Chinese dragon too. Like, it doesn't look exactly like other ones. But I did the la this these two pages and this these two pages as a video showing how I warm up. And then this was the first Copic drawing of the year for, what you want to see? I'm surprised that the color bled through on that one. Uh, it does on the, it just doesn't bleed through to the other paper. Like, mm -hmm. it bleeds through the page, but yeah. So I don't tend to draw on the opposite side like this one. Gotcha. And then this was some pen design, for, like, ideas. And this is the one I actually went with. It's a succulent dragon, which will be coming out in April. Suck dragon. Oh my god. <laughs> and so I was trying to come up with another idea because I need to make a sticker for that month and I think I'm going to draw them as well for that. But I haven't decided what I'm going to do. And this was just a random page of doodles. <laughs> and this was based on the new EV uh, line of like soda pop themed merch. And I really like this color palette. I miss this pink marker now. And then my uh, purple ballpoint pen. And then this was the hourly comic day. Oh my gosh. Yep. Hey, pierogies. They yeah. look kind of like pierogies. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> I swore last year I would do it, so I needed, like, I, I had to do it. And then I didn't like the face on that one. I like the skirt, though. The skirt turned out good. Yeah. And then, again, I got some more pens. I got some colored liners to do colored liners. I was trying to doodle cats. And this was based on Zito and his wife's cat. Because yeah. whenever she curls up, she just looks like a big fluffy throw pillow. And then this video will come out this week. The one that has this character in it. So I won't go too much into this stuff. But you already know about him too. But it's basically I my process of designing a character was these couple pages. <laughs> You don't like that one? <laughs> or that one? It's really that mouth. It's creepy. <laughs> I like it. You like it when it's not open. Correct. Yeah. The little teeth things are. Good. It's supposed to be creepy. Grotesque to me. Good. That's what it's supposed to be. And then this was the February Copic drawing and the gold extra. Yeah. yeah. And then I had done. A bad thing and didn't put my page protector on this one I put it on this one instead and so it did bleed through because I when you layer up the Copics it definitely goes through but like gotcha. when you do one layer it doesn't so I just drew her again and I was like there we go <laughs> that was the little note I forgot to put it on the right page here she is some more doodles of her yeah. and I used the Copic for February for that drawing as well and then I started doing pose Random pose studies from posegenerator.com. Let's get that light back. There we go. Okay. And so there's several pages of just random generated poses. Yeah. Trying to get better. And then I was <laughs> trying to work out what her internal system is like. Yeah. You probably need a better grasp of human anatomy before you can. Why? She's not a human. Okay. And these are my twitch emotes. Everyone likes the drink nut. 
Mm. Emote. Mm. I only have one person that can use it on my Twitch, though. Ah, uh, there we go. And some more random noodles. I was trying to use my brush pen again here to do, like, the Jeff D-style brush pen work, but I still can't get it right. I need to study it some more. Yeah. <sighs> and then came the the day that, on Twitter, <laughs> I became the cat. And then Zito told me that he was going to order me a pizza. And I better answer the door as a cat. He's so warm. <laughs> and then more random pose, pose generated so. stuff, yeah. Same with these. I'm trying to do like poses that I'm not normally comfortable with doing too. Well, that's good. That's how you get better. I ideas. also didn't, like, for any ones that came up like this, I didn't flip the image or anything. I just drew it from mm -hmm. sight like that. So, I'm trying to get better at that. And again, trying to figure out how her whole system works. <laughs> the chibi's cute, at least. <laughs> You're like, I guess. And then more pose-generated stuff. I added some magic to his hands, because I was like, he needs to be doing something. This is a random old guy, like, palming a basketball-like thing. <laughs> it was really weird. I think this was one that I actually might go back and revisit and do a full piece on. I liked the pose. You should make it, uh... The one character from my game. Okay, well, you gotta give me that information then. Make it a uh, Alexander Swift. Okay, gotta give me the information for it. But uh, more random pose generations. <laughs> and then again, some more. I really liked how this one turned out. It's like, I got a ball. And then I think this is the last page of random pose generated stuff. And then... Hey! Yeah. Some things from that game. That yep, was the Liar Princess and the Blind Prince. hours to beat. Yeah, it was still fun, though. But yeah. So that's Sketchbook 16, all finished. So, thank you all for watching. And Bye. we'll see you in the next video. Bye!